Ford's guiding idea for this year's expedition to Timberline is taking anyone anywhere. That, along with pretty much everything else, is what Ford's venerable people all are tough and ready off-road version has to do. Given that the trim adds a significant amount of off-road sauce to the dish, it should. The Raptor's turbo V6 engine, distinctive orange accents and badging, stronger front and rear bumpers with recovery hooks, 4WD, 18-inch wheels with off-road tires, and software, tailored for off-road driving, are all included with Timberline variants. Once more, the goal is to move anyone forward. With eight seats available, there are actually quite a few anyones. It must be able to transport everyone anywhere, at the very least. The sticker price for our test car was a hefty $81,910 as tested. For your convenience, the Timberline's MSRP begins at $78,070. Other substantial three-row off-road competitors, such as the GMC Yukon 84, start around that price at $72,600. The least expensive option in this case is Chevy Suburban with a rugged Z71 model costing only $67,195. But enough with a contest. Ord has positioned the expedition as the off-roader's pick, which is why we're here. What now? When I took the truck for a weekend of off-roading in the Rockies, I set out to find out that information. Let's speak appearance. The expedition is effectively made to resemble the Timberline by Ford, if that makes sense. The car's intimidating visual mess is disrupted by the orange highlights, notably at the front and back. Additionally, Ford has added some stylish orange wire elements to the car's bumper that are exclusive to this specification. Given that this vehicle shares a power plant with Raptor versions, it somewhat resembles the hue of those vehicles. The truck's enormous visual weight is further reduced by the revised bumpers and skid plate, which also appear to improve departure and approach angles. The majority of the products in this market segment share a similar profile with three huge windows and an equally sizable body. The backstory is the same, and I discovered that the Ford was my favorite at least in terms of looks. In comparison to the Suburban, it has slightly more intriguing geometry and isn't quite as real as the GMC. Overall, Ford did a good job with this, and the Timberline option gave the beautiful package some rough looks.